Hey guys, oh shit. Welcome back to another video. So I'm just gonna get right into my thoughts and we're gonna start with the tier list of course, but I'm just gonna, we'll start. Adopt me, Um, it was okay. You could do it pretty quick. I'm gonna put it at A cause I, I like the mini games. Like it's one of those games, part of the games event. We just join in, you do a couple mini games. They're kind of fun. You finish it really fast. It's not time consuming. It's just there. It's almost like a break from some of the rest of these games. They're like an actual nine to five. Uh, arm wrestling, if I remember correctly. I'm just going to go back and check one sec. Okay, I just realized I didn't have to go back and check. I remember it. Uh, my bad. Oh my God. I'm so gassy right now. Uh, that This one was kind of interesting because it was kind of like a mix of parkour. I'm going to put it in B because it did take a little bit. Of just me walking and i didn't really like that so yeah i didn't not i mean and then at some points you had to just click i had an auto clicker so i did it super fast but um it was okay I, that's why it's in b i mean it wasn't horrible it's better than mid um arsenal that's an easy s the mini game it was shockingly unique and also easy at the same time like Anybody could have enjoyed that event, even if you were new, because you could do some busted build. It was the last game I played, so I just went crazy and made a busted build. I was really fun. You can do it with multiple players, too. I don't know if it's still in the game to play, but it was honestly really fun. It's definitely one of my favorite games of the entire event. That was really good. Uh, next is Bad Business, I'm pretty sure. I think so. Yeah, I'm just going to run with this being bad in business. It was kind of tedious. I'm going to put that at, at C. Because it's not like I had to spend hours on top of... Like, I probably did this in 10 minutes, maybe. 15. And I just Googled the shards because I wasn't going to do all that. But again, it took more time and it was more tedious than B. And it wasn't much of an event. I might bump it down to D depending on how this goes. But yeah, it was kind of... It was really mid. A basketball uh most of the sports games are going to go on a c just because you play it that's all you had to do for the event which i didn't really like like it is playing the game is technically on theme for the games quote unquote like half of them clearly had the theme of like summer games olympic games and stuff like that i didn't really like it though not the theme but the fact that all these sports games pretty much did nothing special be an npc or die this one was kind of tedious because um, I think it took me 20 minutes just because the rounds are long and you have to just play the game normally. So again, that's a C. C is going to be like the baseline for just playing the game normally. D is going to be reserved for stuff that's like super tedious and F is just going to be the absolute worst. So again, we're going to put... Um, this is in B. It did add a new mechanic to the game, which is going to be expanded upon like a uh, golfing. But... um. It was really short. Uh, I did enjoy it. However, it was extremely short. Like, you could do that in two to three minutes, depending on how much you've played the game before. And even then, I think you could do it super fast. The mechanic, it is um, like a baseline for a mechanic being expanded upon in the future. So I can see like where it was going. But it wasn't that much for an event. Mm, I'm going to put it in an A. Just because, you know, it wasn't that much. And it was okay. It was fun. It was just too short. But, you know. a uh, Blade Ball. This is a hard one. I think I'm going to put Blade Ball in the F. And I know tons of people are like, This game is so hard. I can't get the win. But, like, um, it's not like uh, the other event for it. Where you had to get a bunch of wins. You only needed one win. The annoying thing was that it's on a specific map. But um, what I did to do that was I convinced the server to vote teams mode and I finished it super fast eventually. And it's not only like I have a problem with winning. It's just that sometimes, you know, it gets a, it's not, it's, the game isn't very consistent. I'll say that. So sometimes when I get that, I'm going to be last two. Someone uses like the freeze and then I just get wiped and it's so annoying. But um, yeah, it's F. Not, that's not the reason it's F. If that was the only reason, it'd be in C or D. It's in F. Because I spent 20 to 30 minutes waiting in the lobby for like a map for the shards. 
and that was absolutely ridiculous. Um, then we also have Boxing League. <laughs> Don't get me started, bro. Don't get me started. Um, this one didn't take me too long because I've played the game before. But if you've never played the game before, you're absolutely cooked. Not even an exaggeration. You are going to get destroyed. And that was because you go into a different lobby, right? The lobbies are normally separated by ranks. So obviously people in higher lobbies are going to be in those lobbies. But everyone was put into this one lobby for the event if you choose to go to it. Now the shards, I'm not going to mention those. Those are super easy. The problem was you had to win a 1v, 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 1v1, right? And it was so hard to queue for that because no one would queue for it. So I spent maybe 10 minutes waiting for one. Thank God I won it. But oh my God. Oh my lordy lord. I'm saying God so much. That that was not a good one. That was not a good one. And on top of needing to win multiple 2v2 matches. Like it's just. It takes forever to wait to queue in that game. Because every monkey just stands by the main one. Even though there's multiple 2v2 arena. It, it makes me mad. I don't want to think about it. Uh, that's cre yeah, creatures of scenario. That wasn't a bad one. The harder part is probably just finding the shards. I honestly don't even remember what. Oh, the quest is super easy. You can do the quest. It might be hard to kill someone in the arena, but um, there's tons of people there just because the event was there, and there were some because um you couldn't lose progress by dying in the arena. You could just ask someone to help you. Many uh, creatures of scenario players were pretty nice, so I want to put that in C. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it in C because it wasn't like a good event, but it wasn't bad either. Like again, C's the mid tier. Uh, dress to impress. I'm gonna put that in B because I did like the obby in the mini game. It's just that the hard part is the duos. Um, the only reason I was able to win the duo is because the thing about it is what when, when you play dress to impress with friends, right? And you're normally gonna vote your friends higher. The strat if you're solo dress to impress is to not vote anyone else. So pretty much it was you either fairly voting other people and then them just getting your votes and not voting you. So pretty much right. Oh my god. I, I feel so repetitive, but like I had to get an alt and then I voted uh, me and my girlfriend who were a duo. And that was the only ridiculous part, but other than that, it was okay. Drive World, that was good. It was like, um, I'm gonna put that in B because it was decent. Uh, like you drive around, you do a couple obbies. I wouldn't have been able to complete it if I didn't have someone help me by giving me a car. Now, again, I don't have any, like, U-Turbo Valor. You can see I have only 400 subs, and I'm kind of washed right now. Um, but, you know, the people that play these some of these games are just so nice, like the communities and stuff. So he gave me a car that was meta. He, he had the best car in the game, and he let me borrow it so that I could um, drive around. Now, it's... It's not like some trade system where he has to trade it and he has to trust me to give it back to him. He could just spawn it and let me drive it around, but that was still super nice of him. And then Driving Empire. Obviously, it's not going to be that good, but it's a C. And I'll tell you why. Because it was just normally driving on a track with some um, uh, obstacles. And it honestly wasn't that bad compared to last year. It's mid this year. Well, not the event you know what i mean if i say year i probably mean event but um last event driving empire was dog shit but um we're gonna ignore that b it was okay it has a unique map and you do some unique like stuff but aside from that it was also kind of mid but it was unique enough to warrant putting it in b and it wasn't like crazy tedious either uh epic mini games that's f uh just because the thing about it is um i don't know how to put it like you do all this stuff right that's super easy for the quests but not even really because once you do a certain amount of quests you need to la like the second or third quest i don't remember which it's so hard to get the right map to spawn for you so you can get the shards or the things you need for the quest and i, I just spent a really long time waiting it's not like one of those things where you can rejoin a bajillion times till you get the right map. Because if the game started, you can't just join in the middle of it, which makes it annoying. Um, Fashion Famous. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it at D. I think I was just really unlucky. 
but on what I did, I would not have been able to do this as fast as I could if I didn't do this. I had an alt voting me again, kind of like just to impress, but I did it solo this time because um, it was really late at night. And it was really hard, though, to find the themes I needed for the quest. And I don't know if that's because I was just that unlucky or if maybe the spawn chances for the themes weren't high enough. But either way, I'm going to put it in D because it didn't take me nearly... Actually, no, it took me two days. Because I did it late at night enough that I started doing it the next morning. But, you know, it was... I didn't really like it. But it wasn't that bad. Because I didn't have to pay much attention. Just while watching YouTube, rejoin, check the theme, rejoin, check the theme. But, um, fishing a simulator. Uh, this one's okay. I'm gonna put it at C. Because it was mostly just playing the game normally. But it was a cool little mini game. But then the race at the end, it was so long. Oh my god. I don't know why it was so long, but it was kind of ridiculous. I did like that it gave you a cool little boat at the end, but um, I'm not going to play the game ever again, so what does that matter to me? Football Fusion. Again, it's a sports game. I might even put this in D because... You have to play a game and then you have to catch a ball. You have to actually play the game. But the problem is you're playing against other players. So like other play, you'll struggle. You will struggle. Unless you may have played the game before. Thankfully, I've played Football Fusion for the other events. So I've, I knew how to play the game at the very least. So it wasn't too bad. I normally play... Um, I actually don't know the position names. I normally just go for the uh, pers the quarterback. And just keep tackling them. So that was super easy. Pull sword. I actually really like this one. But I can't put it that high. Because it wasn't much of an event. I like the animations that. um You can see in the little thumbnail. I think I'm going to edit zoom in on it. There was the bot. It was a boss fight. Like it wasn't a cool boss fight. It was played how the rest of the game plays. Where you just click after getting enough st stat. But I really like the animations. And that's enough for me to bump it up. On top of the fact it took me like no time at all to do it. Sonic Speed Simulator. This one pissed me off because I was trying to find a guide for the shards and I came across New Blocks. And I didn't know who New Blocks was. I am now his number one hater. I hate New Blocks. Fuck New Blocks. Anyways, this is like a C. Uh, Funky Friday. I'll put this at D because, again, it's like playing the game normally. But you have to win three pvp battles in specific songs and obviously you can get your friend but i didn't have anyone to do that with me or you could get like someone to help you or like just be good enough to win but i kept going against sweats and i got so mad i ulted and the first time i ulted it didn't count because the other person needs a score so i had to play for both people my all and my main at the same time and just barely get it each and single time because you need a goal amount for it to count, I'm pretty sure. But aside from that, it was okay. I finished it aside pretty fast aside from the last quest. Uh, Jim, uh, I actually like this one. The You didn't even have to train at all. It was just a couple of mini games. The only real complaint I have is that like the um the boxing, it wasn't very well made, but the devs aren't really experienced in that. Like they tried. It had a very clear vision. The mini games were cool aside from the boxing, and I can appreciate that. So it's gonna go in A. The baseball one, the baseball one is so easy. Um, you pretty much just you r people randomly get selected. Well, it, you go in order, so you don't have to sit there forever in case you're unlucky, and you just hit the ball. So you're just playing normally in some event mode, and you have to get it like a certain amount of bases. Um, yeah, it was pretty simple. That was easy. Uh, this one, super simple. You just play the game. There's not much to it. Horrific housing. I'll put this one in C. Which might seem kind of low to y'all. But the boss fight was so annoying. Because when the by the time the boss fight comes, half the time you're not even going to be able to hit the things to actually beat the boss. Because they spawn on top of certain houses. Well, not certain, but randomly a house. And sometimes you just can't reach that house. And eventually the boss just despawns to continue on with the game. And it, it's dumb because there's not really much you can do if you can't reach the house. 
But um, yeah, here we have... There was two horse games. This is Horse Life. Okay, Horse Life, uh, it was okay. I only really struggled trying to find the shards because they randomly spawn. But um, other than that, you kind of just play the game normally. So that's an easy C. Uh, horse Racing Sim... I'm going to put that at D because I actually had to grind a little bit, which was insane. I'm not going to lie. But other than that, you play the game normally. He's, um, let me remember. Yeah, you just played the game normally. But it also took quite a while. I think I'm going to put it in C, though, since it wasn't, like, bad or anything. Like, it took me, I did keys faster than Sonic Speed Sims, so I can't really complain. Like, also, by the way, none of the tiers are in order. Like, all these are the same. I want to, like, put one in this above other by, like, doing this, you know. Um, I'm not going to go that in-depth. This one, I want to put it in D. Same reason as Horse Racing Sim. Just because I had to grind a little bit, which kind of took a while. Uh, I'm going to put Michael Zombies in A. Because I really liked the minigames. Um, they're really short, though. Like, you could finish this fast. Five minutes, two, three, five minutes fast. It was crazy. Um, Midnight. Midnight Rewinds Tokyo. Uh, I don't remember what this is called. But um, I know what it, how to play. I don't really like it. Because it, it didn't feel very crisp. I didn't like the driving. But um, I'll put it in a C I guess. Actually no I'll put it in a D. Because um, I had a bad experience with it. I was able to finish it though. Because some dude got in the race with me and just lose on purpose so i appreciate that here's a motorcycle one i didn't like it because the drives were insanely long like i spent five minutes per driving to do three drives one of them was a time limit of like 50 one minute and 50 seconds and that one i had to retry a couple times so it just took me a while but then that wasn't too bad but it's bad enough for me to put it in d uh, this one was okay. It was actually really difficult. I do, honestly, I wish I clipped some of these games because they, I did, I was going crazy. I was hitting like four V ones all night. If you know what, uh, if you know what this game is, that's going to seem impressive. If you don't know what that is, it might not seem as impressive, but it was crazy. Like, uh, I finished it pretty fast cause I was popping off. But um, it's only in C because it was just playing the game. Uh, I'm going to put this in C. Just because, again, same reason as all the others in C. You're just playing the game normally. There wasn't much to it. Pacer Sim. I'm going to put that in D because for like 10 minutes at the beginning, I had to grind. And you start off really slow. Um, pet Catching. Honestly, this is a B or an A. Because just like Adopt Me or... Um, the gym game i forgot what it was called again you there's like these three little mini games you do them they're fun you can get to all these shards really fast as well especially if you've played the game before because you just need to unlock the first zone which you can do in like 30 seconds so yeah and the little mini games are kind of fun you can do that super fast as well uh 99 thought oh that reminds me one thing for epic games People were complaining so hard because the first quest also has three little mini games in the lobby. People were so bad at them that they were complaining like it's the worst event. It's the worst. It's epic mini games is definitely the worst, but not because of those mini games. That was probably the only redeeming quality about that event. People were just having a crazy skill issue. Uh, I'm gonna put this in D's. Same as the other Sims down here. I had to grind a little before I could finish it, which I didn't like. This is one of the soccer games. Um, I don't remember which soccer game I liked more, but they were both similar enough for me to not care. Um, they're relatively the same. I don't. I hate the soccer games because like people who play them think they're Ronaldo Messi. I'm just gonna put this other one right next to it. They think they're the next Ronaldo or something, so they don't pass the ball, which makes this quest infinitely harder. So, I was eventually able to do it easier by joining a low player server, but even then, that didn't make it too much easier. But aside from that, it was okay. Uh, Robies was, I mean, you were just playing the game. It wasn't as bad as Funky Friday because you could 
do it relatively easy and you didn't have to like specifically win anything. If you were decent at rhythm games, you could have finished it super fast. Shark Eater. This one could have been hard, but it wasn't too bad. I'll put it in B. And it's because I really like the jumps. They were tedious though. But I think it I, the jumps were cool enough to me that I'm going to put it in B despite me not really liking it. A slap battles. Slap battles, I'm not going to lie, that was an S. I put that shit in F tier for the classic. No, the hunt, my bad. But honestly, they came back like crazy. Slap battles event was so fun that I went back and played it later. That's how good it was. Now, it's just, you're obviously using the default hand for slapping, and you're just playing soccer with it. And that is surprisingly fun. So, if I hope the soccer map game... Uh, game mode stays in the game i don't think it's in the game but honestly i hope it comes back because it was so good um super golf that was just a c i heard saw people complaining about it because you had to um do it on specific maps but there's literally a server list that takes you to specific maps and tells you the whole and you can filter it by maps so it wasn't that bad it was really easy in my opinion uh, the only hard part maybe could have been the quest if you were really bad at super golf. But aside from that, it could have been okay. Uh, Survive the killer. That's an easy F tier. Uh, it was just really bad. First quest, you have to revive people with the help of another person. So, and the game isn't just like Blade Ball. I wouldn't say it's the most consistent game. So even sometimes when I'd get like a joint revive, it wouldn't even count. And it's not like Fortnite, right? Where you have to press the button and two people can press the button to revive very fast. It's automatic, so sometimes when I try to attempt this, people would solo revive by themselves. So the, the way I completed this faster was by hiding my character on a corner of the map, getting my ult, finding a down person, bringing them to my main, placing them down, and then we joint revive automatically. But even then, it wasn't that effective, which made it super annoying because people can revive while you're carrying, and it, I didn't, I really hate to survive the killer on top of the other things you had to do, like, um, get the subway escape, which the it's hard because you pretty much have to walk around the entire map multiple times to find these things to put in. And then you get the escape. I mean, it wasn't as bad as the first quest, but I still hated it. But, um, yeah, uh, tongue battles. It was okay. I'll put it in C cause you, you're really just playing the game, but you go to the team mode. It's just like slap battles, but instead with tongues. I was actually going to make a whole video on this. I'm going to add deleted clips at the end. Oh, same with Arsenal that I recorded for those games. Um, I mean, they were fine. It's just slap battles. I just had to play slap battles. There is health, though, instead of you just knocking someone off to kill. There is health in tongue battles, which makes it a little different. But again, it's nothing crazy. I'm going to put this in D. It was time consuming and oh shit. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, y'all. But um for track and field, how it was yeah, like I said, it was time consuming. But then he also had to get a relay team, which is really annoying because people can will just leave randomly. Thankfully someone was spamming in the chat. Join relay team! Join relay team! And I thankfully got on. It was full. I had to ask someone to leave the relay team. But um, I think he might have kicked someone for me, actually. But it was good. I finished that fast because of him. Thank you, dog. Uh, ultimate football. Actually, actually, actually. I remember, I remember. Ultimate football. I actually liked ultimate football. Because it's the same as all the other ones up here. You just do a couple mini games. And it's super fast. Like... You don't have to put in too much crazy work. You find the shards super fast, you know. Uh, boxing, this this is an S. And I will say, this is probably the hardest skill-wise. Like, if you were good, you could complete it fast. But if you weren't good, you'd have to sweat the shit out of it. Because I played it, and it was honestly hard. It Trying to fight the bosses for the quest was harder than actually trying to fight players that have 
played the game for hours. Like, that's not even a joke. Right? Because the AI, the way they had it, it can pretty much just instantly react to what you're doing and auto-dodge. Now, obviously, it's not quote-unquote perfect AI. They have to program in it so they can't do this so you can actually win. But, so, the only way I got around this was by actually just almost button mashing, right? But not, in a sense, not really. What I do is I'd right-click, hit, but then I wouldn't hit again. And then he'll dodge, or I'll kind of, like, fake the combat out on him or something, and then I'll right-click again. And it, it throws the AI off if I'm not making snappy, quick movements like that. If I make very delayed and, um, what's the word? I don't remember what the monocle no that's absolutely not the word i don't remember but if i make very um delicate movements at very specific moments it became easy because you could just pretty much throw the ai off its feet it doesn't even know what it's doing but it, it was genuinely hard a uh, volleyball that's in b just because it's a very unique sports game and the shard the way you collected the shards was actually really cool it was definitely the most unique way you collect the shards out of all the games. <clears throat> but, uh, oh my god. Um. Yeah, I think that's all I had to say about it. Um, this, I mean, it's a very unique game for Roblox. But, um. It was just kind of mid. Because the game is all UI. So the way you found the shards is actually really cool having to go through the menus and stuff. But aside from that, I thought it was okay. That reminds me, boxing some the way you found the shards was also so cool. I really like the Y'all. Boxing sim not boxing sim. Untitled boxing game is so good. But something funny about it is when I was grind like trying to do it, it gives you rolls sometimes to get a different fighting style. I got a legendary fighting style. However, I got one of the hardest legendary fighting styles to use. Because it requires perfect dodging and countering. So it was almost a detriment to have a legendary boxing style than just using the default. But uh, it was fun. That game's fun. But um, yeah, here's the official list. Um, comment down any complaints you have. Maybe I'll respond. I'll, I think I posted this on Twitter. Uh, yeah. So now let's talk about my thoughts on the whole event. I'll go over... What everyone cares about the most, the cosmetics. Um, I I think a couple of the games you gave a bit of UGC. I don't quite remember. Um, the cosmetics were okay. But, but the problem is, is that they were all that layered clothing that um only really works if you're Arthro. Otherwise, it looks really weird, which was really annoying. Uh. Oh, but the boss fight, the boss fight was actually so cool. I I think I recorded that. It's going to go in the deleted clip scene at the end. I really enjoyed that. Actually, it'll probably be playing on screen right now. Um, I really liked the final cosmetic out of the whole thing that you can claim today as this video is going up, I'm pretty sure. The Crimson Cats one, which I'm a little sad about. I'm a Mighty Ninjas forever. I might make a funny story animation thing if i ever figure out how to do it but um yeah it makes me a little sad the mining ninjas didn't win i was kind of rooting for them they're almost like the underdogs just because they're not creek craft um i'm not surprised creek craft's team won though he's creek craft uh but yeah the the final cosmetic was actually really good though the all the other cosmetics that were really mid i did like how they were trying to go with a teams thing not like metaverse but more like based on communities the only problem was is that it was almost like predetermined who was gonna win just be by fact of who these content creators were like for example the giant feet i think most of the giant feats not most but a good a substantial amount of people that joins the giant feet joins just because it's feet and it's funny like i didn't know who any of the other youtubers in this were except maybe two and it was crewcraft and ibel and they were captains but obviously i wasn't joining the um the pink warriors because uh it's more of like a role play community and stuff but um 
Like it was okay. I think overall, this event is a good direction for events. I will say it's better than the hunt, but in some ways this was better than the classic, and in some ways it was worse. Um, like the lobby overall was worse, but the boss fight was a thousand times better. The boss fight was so cool. Y'all are probably looking at it right now. Maybe not because uh, I don't remember how long it was, so it might already be over. Uh, hopefully the clip's still playing. But it was, it was honestly really cool. Also, yeah, by the time, if that clip's over, I'm just going to play the deleted clips now. Y'all probably, y'all aren't going to hear my commentary on it, but it's whatever. I don't want to see, have y'all looking at a blank screen for like 10 minutes. Um, I do appreciate in this amount. My bad, I'm eating a bit. I have a snack. I do appreciate how more of the games on this event actually match the theme. And even games that weren't like part of like the games where the base game wasn't actually the theme made a pretty good effort. Like boxing. I just boxing. I can't say anything about that. It's a sport. Arsenal. I like how they made it like a game show. The games. That was cool. Song speed is game fam. I'm not surprised. This is good. Honestly, I liked it. Apart from some of these stinkers down here that made it an actual chore. A complete. This is really good. Honestly. Like everything above B was a hit. Some of these in C are actually misses, but obviously I have I fairly rank these. But I didn't enjoy everything in C. In fact, I didn't enjoy most of these in C. Only really like be an NPC, Sheriff. Even then the Sheriff was tedious. Bro beats. It was good. I like Super Golf. But yeah. Um I'll let the keep uh, the deleted clips keep playing. But um if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.